Hey guys, Ethan here. This is a long overdue video, but I thought I'd try to get a quick one out real quick. So today we're going to be talking about uh, video production on Gen 2 Linux. And it's actually suggested to me by um, one of the people in the Gen 2 Discord, which I appreciate for the suggestion. So anyways, let's get into it. The first thing I want to talk about is what I use to record my videos. And to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and open up OBS, even though I already have OBS open. It's going to launch it on top, but I'm going to mute this one so you don't have to look at it twice. So what I do for Gen 2 is really simple because I use an AMD GPU. So under my output settings, you can see that my recording, it's set to VA API because I want to use my GPU when possible to record. And I know that it, it can be kind of finicky at times, like especially if you're doing something like intense, maybe gaming, it can be kind of difficult to get everything to work. Like sometimes I get some artifacting, I know I had that problem, but it's what I prefer to use when I can. And you can see I have my graphics card down here. And this is just like using the Mesa driver as well. And here are my bit rates. Everything is pretty much basic here. And under audio, again, everything's basic. And then under video, I like to record in my native resolution, which is uh, 2560 by 1440 at 60. And then typically I'll downscale this when it comes time to actually upload the video. I think that recording in like native looks a lot cleaner than if I record at a um, rescaled output. I think that rescaling it in real time may also be something that kind of uh, uses a lot of your GPU or CPU. And now onto the use flags. So OBS use flags are pretty simple. I've just got... Um, Notably, I've got browser for when I do streams, which is almost never. Pipewire and Pulse Audio for the sake of audio. And then V4L, which is how I get my camera to work if I ever need to use it. And then I have Wayland here because I do have some Wayland libraries on my system, but I don't use them. And when it comes to actually viewing videos, I use a couple programs. So I use VLC every once in a while and use flags here are really really annoying to read but the most important thing is just that you have the right code uh yeah the codex so like mp3 for example and ogg and opus and all of that you just want to make sure that you have what you need and uh, x264 for uh, cpu and then for the other program i use i like to use mpv a lot and mpv is really nice because you can just quickly open your uh, your video player when you're like looking through your files it's less invasive than having to open up a giant program like vlc it's not giant but there's a little bit more overhead with it and of course for any of these things to work we have to look at ffmpeg which is how we actually deal with video and audio production so ffmpeg is probably the source of any of your problems so if you're trying to like record a video and it's not coming out right or like you're missing a file in, or a, a file format in OBS or something like that or VLC. Most of the time it's FFmpeg. So a couple of the things that I have in here are I use VA API and VDPAU for my uh, GPU, my AMD GPU with the Mesa driver. I've got OpenGL and OpenH264 as uh, some extra encoders and then X264 here and then Vulkan. And these are the only ones that I think you really need to add that might not come with it by default. There's a, like a bunch of different flags, but you can actually just look on the Gen 2 wiki and there's like a list of what each one does on the FFmpeg page. And then when it comes to actually editing my videos, I use two programs. So I use Audacity, which I'm not going to open now because it has a tendency to break stuff. For some reason, I'm going to have to switch off of Audacity. But yeah, Audacity does this thing where you open it up and then it like does something to all of your audio devices. And then I also use a program called the James DSP. And this is what I have running at all, uh, like all times. So this is a really nice program because you can use um, your graphic EQ. So what I do is this is just for like my own listening. This is how I like to listen to my audio. But you go to the auto EQ database and you just look up your headphones. So I have the uh, Bear Dynamic DT990 250 ohms. And then you just find what you like. And I think that the, um, I believe I'm using right now the oratory or the headphone.com. I'm using one of these. I forgot exactly which one I'm using, but I'm using like one of these and they're pretty good. I mean, it's just nice to have some amount of EQ on your headphones because if you don't have any EQ going on, then 
you're just listening to like a flat or not flat listening to like the pre eq and it's not always the best and on to actually editing my videos i use kden live and kden live has almost no use flags you just get the program how it is of course it does rely on like ffmpeg so if you're having a problem with kden live you think you're maybe missing something it may be ffmpeg and everything in here is pretty basic so if we look under my settings for uh where is it i actually don't even know if i have any specific settings so all i do is i just add like the clip so i'll find whatever i'm looking for in here and i'll add it and then i'll do all my editing in here it's a very simple program and then when i'm done with it i just go to project and i just render it out and i'll typically render it out as um as generic and i'll do mp4 and then i'll set this to uh, max quality and that's about it so i try to render things out at the native resolution and just upload them but if i do downscale them that would be uh, here or it'd be in the project settings so i've tried using the hardware accelerated so i've done the uh, va api amd i don't know what card you need for intel but i know that i don't have it i've tried using this and what i found is that it's either a lot slower or the quality comes out a lot worse. I guess that's just because GPUs are better at real time rendering and physics while CPUs are better at like lossless. So I just stick with the basics, you know, nothing's uh, very difficult to do in my setup. And honestly with gen two, everything works pretty well out of the box. So I hope that kind of gave some insight into what, uh, what options you have available for uh, you to use for things like, video editing and production all that stuff on gentoo like i said it's very simple if you've done it on any other linux distro you can easily do it on gentoo uh, the only thing you have to look out for are just the use flags and really the only thing that stands out to me is ffmpeg so thanks for watching if you have any questions you can ask in the comments join my discord if you want to get in touch with me somehow the link is in the description make sure to uh, verify on the discord so you just want to go to the roles channel and then just react to the thumbs up just click that thumbs up i notice a lot of people join and then they never get their role and those are either bots or people that don't know what to do i try to make it explicit but it's there for a good reason if you don't have a verification then people or bots rather join and like spam the server so that's all i can really do uh, if you dislike the video dislike it uh, subscribe if you want to see more from me and i'll see you next time Bye bye